Hey guys, guess where I've been? Dollar Tree. Well, I guess you knew that because of the thumbnail on the front of my video. But I did run into Dollar Tree this afternoon and I found some really fun things to do some DIYs and I want to show them to you and then um, be watching for those to come up. I have another set of DIYs I'm going to record here before I go out of town and that is my little mobile station right there and I need to fill it up with some things for spring because it had all my Christmas um, things for journaling and everything in it so now I need to switch it but anyway let's get on to what's at Dollar Tree okay so I found some really fun things and I didn't know if you had seen them there they had some new things for your iPhone or your smartphone and one is this little stand and you can set it up like this you can see right here and I thought well that's really cute and it's easy for you to set your phone in either way to stand up portrait or landscape either way so wanted you to know about that and they had several colors and then look this is for your headphones if you need a, a place to store your headphones it has the little pocket for your um, charger if they're wireless and just to let you know this is really nice for a dollar and they had multiple colors and it's just really cute so I did get blue but anyway all right the next thing that I want to show you are these really cute pens let me see if this is all of them one two three all right, have you seen these cute pens? Now I'm going to see my team, and I wanted to bring them some coloring books, which I'm gonna show you, which are for adults, and these cute pens. So they all look like donuts, and they're mushy. They are so cute. Is mushy a word? Yes, mushy's a word. They're squishy, squishy, mushy. And they don't, I don't think they, what is that sound? It may just be the, the um, rubber squishy squishiness but anyway they have all these different kinds they're so cute and what a fun little gift for someone so I did get those wanted to show you that now a couple of things when you're going to be doing adult coloring or any kind of coloring I guess with colored pencils you do need a sharpener and some erasers so you want to make sure that you have those for your um, your your time so that you can um, keep your pencil sharp. So I did get some coloring pencils for my team. So you can see that there. And then, let's see, I got them some books. Now you may or may not look for these at your Dollar Tree, but they had some that I had not seen before. Um, maybe I hadn't looked lately. So I had this uh, Falling Leaves which is more of an autumn one, but it had some really cute pictures in it. So I thought this would be a fun one. Then Sea Life, of course, I love the ocean and the sea. And so it has some real pretty pictures in here. Then I got birds. So these intricate pictures are just so neat. Now this one's not birds. This is just multiple images. I thought I got a bird one. Maybe I didn't. They did have a bird one. Then this one is paradise. And it's just fun to do. You know, like something to do with your hands that is not necessarily, um, you know, playing on your phone, but artistic. So this one is called Sacred Art. And this one is called Masterpieces. So how many of you guys do adult coloring or you uh, like to color? Do you do stamping and then color your stamps? And just in case, I have someone on my team that does not like adult coloring, so do go. So I got some puzzles here. So anyway, got those. I'd love to know if you guys uh, do any adult coloring as well and what you think about it. Okay, a couple more signs at the Dollar Tree. This is from Sepulpa, Oklahoma. And this store uh, had a few signs that I had not seen. So this one is Easter greetings. Looks like a wood fence there. 
with the little metal looking, but it's actually just a print and the little bow on this bunny. And then this one is so cute. I love the carrots. I just almost want to take them apart and use the carrots. But it's he's such a cutie, right? Cute bunny. All right. So I have seen several really, really cute uh, bunnies and Easter, uh, you know, decorations this year. Now, if you didn't know, the craft section seems to be expanding in all the Dollar Trees and in the Sepulpa one that I went to today, which is outside of Tulsa, um, they really had a new section pretty much set up, which was nice. And they do have these art canvases. These are five by seven. You actually get two in each package. So they're 50 cents a piece, which I thought that was really fun. And I have some ideas for them, so I wanted to go ahead and get them while I was there. And then these headbands. Now, I don't really wear headbands, but they're great size for journaling. So make your journal and then you have your closure and you can put a bow on it or a flower or you can just leave it just like this. And these are not too tight for paper journals or um, you know, that kind of thing. So wanted to show you that. Then look at this cool paintbrush that I found at the Dollar Tree. Now this is Crafter Square. So this is the brand they're putting out now. And I love this size brush. I use this size brush all the time and I'm gonna try it out on a project here in a few moments. The next thing that I found, they did have some puppy and kitty sticky notes. Now is this the cutest kitty ever? I just think so. So I'm gonna take that to my friend and give that to her and she'll love it. Then, if you remember, they had prayer cards that we found and a lot of people were interested in those. I haven't seen them again, but now I found lunchbox notes. Have you guys seen these? These are really cute. And there are 18 notes in here. Let me take it out and show you what's included. What a fun thing to put in a lunchbox or even just a note card if you wanted to. So you're a star, just some encouraging words, love you bunches. And then you can write your own in here. I think you get three of each. And then write your own message here. I just love it. Aren't they cute? And love you to the moon and back. So check these out. I mean, these are printed. They're a really nice um, stock here and you could use them for your family, for your friends, for your coworkers, for anyone you want to encourage. So check those out. Now next, part of my project that I wanna do that I told you I'm gonna use, try that paintbrush out is with these little flower pots. You get two in this size. These are not the tiny, tiny size, but these are the, um, let's see if it says what size, three and a half inch diameter here. So I got two sets of those. And then I did pick up some green Excelsior. It looks like grass, and it's kind of a straw dried grass. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use these for that project, but I did go ahead and get these onion grass uh, pin, uh, picks because I haven't really seen these too many times at the Dollar Tree, and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and get them because these are these are pretty cool to add to an arrangement. Now, another thing that I found, and you've probably seen these, are these cute little carrots. These carrots are twine, and you get four in a package. They're really cute. They are so cute. But just in case you can't find those, look at these candy carrots that you can get. Now these are really cute and they actually do have like a powder candy inside them. But you don't have to use the candy if you don't want the candy because the carrots are super cute and they're plastic and you can paint on here and give it a little dimension with some black or brown paint and you get eight. You get even more than you do here because you get four. All right, now one more thing that I did pick up and I wanna try this idea that I have in my head and I saw someone do something like this. Um, 
a year or two ago and I don't remember who it was but I'm gonna put my spin on it so I'm gonna do a project with these these are little uh, landscape garden fences that you put like in your in your garden or flower bed and I want to make a, a craft with these so anyway I picked up two of those and that's really all my haul is for this video so i hope you enjoyed it that you would subscribe to my channel i'd love to have you as part of my youtube community my family here on youtube i appreciate you all i love your comments i always read them and i will try to reply back in a few days it sometimes takes me a few days to get back to you but anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great week this week and until next time, bye-bye.